So today I am reviewing the Bond Pursuer. They sent this to me and uh, we'll get into it as soon as we finish talking about the specifications. So the Bond Pursuer has an edgeless T700 carbon sandblast surface, so no raw carbon fiber here. A 16 millimeter honeycomb core. It weighs 7.8 to 8.3 ounces. Mine came in at about 8.1 ounces. It's 16.45 inches long and 7.4 inches wide. And the grip has an advertised length of 5.35 inches and 4.125 inch circumference. So let's talk about pop and power. The face is really lively. I liked it a lot and I could generate quite a bit of power. It did take me a little while to get my dinks dialed in, but once I did, I was playing quite well with it. Additionally, the sweet spot has, is pretty good. I did like the size of the sweet spot. Uh, the only difference, uh, something that I'm not used to playing with is with a hole here, if you catch the ball down here, uh, your shot's ruined at that point, pretty much. So as far as spin and control are concerned, I was able to generate a lot of spin with this. Um, I don't do any kind of spin measurements or twist weight or anything like that, but I could really tell that some of the balls that I was hitting uh, were really curving the way I wanted them to curve after a serve, especially. Additionally, as far as, I think I mentioned it before, uh, at the net, I had a little more trouble controlling my dinks at first. I had some high dinks, but once you get used to how the paddle plays, it feels, it feels like any other power paddle. I will say like this, this core does not give. I'm squeezing it right now and there's almost no give in it. And so, so you're really gonna have to be, uh, get used to uh, dinking with this thing. If you're not used to a, a paddle that has less control, this is gonna be tough for you to get dialed in. So at 8.1 ounces, this paddle is about half an ounce lighter than my Vatic Pro that I play with pretty regularly. Uh, keeping in mind that I've put two overgrips on my Vatic Pro and I played with this without an overgrip on it at all. It feels light and fast in my hand. Um, a lot of the weight is down towards, even though there's a hole here, the weight does feel like it's more uh, down towards the, the handle of the paddle. So as you can see there, that's where the balance point is on the paddle, which definitely shows it's more closer to the handle, which makes the paddle feel very fast in my hand. So let's talk about the grip and the appearance. I, I really like the graphics on the Pursuer here. It's not you know, too over the top and it's got, a, uh, it's got even design on the edge here. They've got their branding on the side there. The grip feels very comfortable in my hand. It's one of the few paddles where I felt like I could actually play without putting an over grip on it right out of the box. And I like the, the color of the grip and the way it matches the rest of the paddle. I wanna take a minute to talk a little bit about some of Bond's other paddles as well. They've collaborated with artists to provide very unique paddle faces. And I think that's really cool of them. They're finding artists, getting good artwork, and putting them on the paddle faces so you just don't see the same boring old paddles out there. And that's one of the things I like about this color and the design on it. It does not look like all the other paddles out on the pickleball court. All right, hey everybody, it's John from the future. Well, sort of. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, let's talk price and value. I had to record this afterwards because after recording my initial review, um, Bond sent me a promo code. So this paddle retails at $200. And I think a lot of recreational and casual players might balk at that, but here's something to think about. They offer a lifetime warranty on manufacturing defects 
uh, missing parts and you know any other flaws that might come about just from normal play now if you're going to scratch it and things like that chips on the surface that's not going to be covered but a lifetime warranty and i think that shows that they stand behind their product and they think that they have a really good product so bond has given me a code john 40 all caps and you'll get 40 percent off of this paddle which makes it 120 dollars which i think is an excellent value they also offer free shipping so i think all around you're getting a good offer on the paddle and you're getting free shipping they're going to stand behind their product with a lifetime warranty i honestly don't think you can go wrong for 120 bucks so that code john 40 is only good at bondpickleball.com and you can use it until the end of march 2024 Okay, so who is this paddle for? I definitely don't think this is for the beginner pickleball player unless they're coming from some other racket sport because without having that finesse and that control of the paddle, you're just going to be frustrated with constantly dinking the ball high and hitting the ball out. I think if you're an intermediate to advanced player, so 3-5 to 5-0, this paddle will be great for you if you're looking for something that has a lively face and has that put away power. So I think Bond's approach to engaging artists is a great way to bring some really cool designs to the face of a pickleball paddle. I think the lack of a cover on the Pursuer is a missed opportunity for Bond because they could have provided a cover that had some artwork on it. In addition, I think that their lifetime warranty is a great great feature and it shows that bond pickleball uh, with this pursuer paddle is really looking to stand behind their product and not just trying to make a quick buck like so many of the other paddle manufacturers that you see popping up online and on amazon i want to thank bond for sending me this paddle to review i've really enjoyed playing with it and i look forward to playing with it some more and bringing you a long-term review of this paddle to see how, how it holds up over time. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you like this kind of content and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next review. And until next time, keep dinking.